the sad part is, today is the day she will die. What? Greetings and salutations, Ms. Mac Mafia. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we are playing Little Miss Fortune. It's my first time playing this game. It's a complete breath of fresh air, completely different from what we normally play. So I am super duper excited to play it. It's very cutesy. It's a little bit dark as well. So it's got that, that sort of, um, that listen of those two darkly different genres. Uh, but anyway, let's get into it. As I said, very cutesy. We got the sparkles, we got the, the pink. First time I've ever seen like a cartoonist put the the earphones in the actual ears. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Like some supernatural kind of vibes going on. Love it. Cool, okay, so we've got a little fox man just chilling. Love the art style, it's so gorgeous. It's like a it's like almost like water paint. There's a lot of different endings, okay, okay. Welcome to my game. I'll be your host and humble narrator. The rules of this game are simple. Play it until the end and you'll be rewarded. This is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. What? Huh, I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or there, something? Hmm, we? well, okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. I'll call you Mr. Voice. What did you say about me dying today? Die? <laughs> no. Nobody said anything about anyone about dying. Watch. <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A blood. game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Mm. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Aww. Okay, it's a deal. Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Nah. Okay. I'm gonna mm -hmm. do it. I'll trust this guy. I don't trust this guy for a goddamn second. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. <laughs> Alright, I love her. I love her vibes. I love it. I love it. Wait, what's this? That's the fox. Benjamin. Look, I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. He's a really cute fox. Ugh, I don't care much for foxes. That's an interesting reaction to have. <gasps> Look, Aww. this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. Aww. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> this is my diary. Nobody's allowed to read it. Want to see? <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. Oh my god, okay, okay, okay. She's giving us she's giving us a little bit of backstory. Um I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. I love it. The self-confidence, the girl bossing, she's amazing already. Misfortune Ramirez Hernandez. Wow, her parents actually named her Misfortune. God, alright, okay. First page you've got some some unicorns, a little rock man and little man. I like to play a lot with my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. She has very neat handwriting. I'll give her that. Oh, hello diary. At school I drew and at home I was at my hiding spot talking to Bubsy and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. <laughs> These drawings are very cute. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. I immediately trust this fox because I don't trust Mr. Voice and Mr. Voice hates this fox. She's a very good artist. Um, doesn't really give us much indicator to what age is, so I'd, but I'd say maybe around like seven or so. Hello diary. My dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cried, but told mummy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Wow, okay. That's pretty classic for situations like that. The child tends to end up emotionally managing the household and you know, making sure everyone else is okay above themselves when it should be the other way around. That's actually, from what I've heard, is a sign of abuse. So I hope she's okay. Sometimes I don't know how to feel. Nobody is teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they teach us where feelings come from, but for reals, no fairy tales, yeah. I knew this game was dark, but I didn't think it was gonna be this kind of dark. Whoa! That is a good drawing. Hello, Diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? They puke of love. That's what it is. That's very cute and very innocent, I feel. Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside, and we looked at each other and my heart felt warm, and like if I was about to vomit, but in a good way. Then he ran away because my mummy shouted that dinner was ready. <gasps> oh. Hello diary, my daddy hit mummy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It doesn't feel right. Oh. I don't like it when daddy hits mummy. Oh. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mommy. I promise I will never be like my daddy. Okay, good. I played today that I took a plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I know about Japan because my friend is Japanese and he likes sushi. Oh, okay. She's very, very cute. I feel very, very sad for her. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we want to talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing, but I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. His name is Hiro, and he's a ghost. Oh. I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. Huh. Okay. Hello, diary. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny, and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe Santa is for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? Oh, she's so precious and innocent. I just want to snatch her up and protect her and mother her myself. I don't feel maternal instincts very often, but right now I'm, I'm feeling them. <laughs> I saw a TV with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa is real, but the glitter is amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sprinkled with sparkle to look prettier. That makes me less sad. I love my glitter. Me too, girl boss. Me too. Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with my grandma. It smelled so nice. I saw butterflies, some other insects too. I ate two tomatoes and then it was stuffed. I made a real nice drawing there, you see? Yes, very nice. It is very I did nice. a coloring too. Impressive. She's an artist. She's a Picasso. She's a real one. I was riding my tricycle. We don't have money for the bicycle. And I looked straight into the sun and I started crying because I hurt my eyes. I only said that one should not look directly at it. It was fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my body. <laughs> oh no, did she piss herself? I bit in the lake. It was really warm. Hello diary, how are you? I'm good too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. Oh, that's a cute picture. I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast, the cake looks yummy. Imagine as a child, like, having the ability to concentrate for long enough to just, like, scrap a book, like a book, and to draw in it and write in it. I'd get one page into a book and I was done. I was gone. It was 
out. <laughs> Look at that picture. I was such a baby. Very cute. <laughs> now I'm such a lady. I'm a little lady. That's what I am. 100% that is what she is. Halloween costume ideas. Little lady fox. <laughs> This is the last page of her diary. She's extremely cute. Um, this is here? Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. Damn, don't f*** around with Babsy. He will f*** you up. <laughs> I love my coloring book. Uh, oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. A, do you take the coloring book with you? Leave the coloring book for Babsy. Alright, we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it with us then. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This oh. is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. Oh, she's so cute. <gasps> we have glitter. Throw glitter with an F. <gasps> Holy f we're totally girl watching it right now. Love it. I saw a monster in here once. Oh. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Damn! Before you leave, which toy do you choose to bring with you? Can't I take them both? No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... The unicorn or the stone? So the stone is covered in blood and the unicorn... The unicorn has got a big smile on its face and the can has it. I feel like, realistically, the stone would probably be a better tool to use, but it just has such a frown on its face, you know? The practical choice would be to take the stone. I choose the stone that he threw at me once. Oh. Interesting choice. Yeah, I call him Stony. Because he's a stone, get it? <laughs> Stony the stone? That's very clever. Thank you. Oh, that's why it's got blood on it. Oh, okay, I kind of regret bringing ah, the stone. And we'll so you it. know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. As you should. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! <laughs> hey, you. On the other side of the screen. Me? Remember I told you she was going to die today? No. Let's keep that a secret between us. Fuck off right. for keeping that a secret. You can suck my d Mr. Voice. Whoa, everyone has white eyes. I'm just, like, in these pictures. That's so creepy. Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple ones by running too fast. Did Mommy oh, find out who like did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for, like, five days. Mmm. You see, that also as well, I feel like, comes under the umbrella of, like, emotional management. Like, she put herself through that physical pain out of the fear of, presumably, the mother's reaction. Hold shift to move and run. Oh, oh please don't fall, don't Go hold it! Oh. Damn it, it's all broken now. That was a beautiful example of cause and effect. This narrator's too but happy don't about it. Me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. Hmm, maybe I could try to fix it. Hold on, what's this picture here? Mommy said she married Daddy because she was expecting me. She wanted to have an abortion, but it's illegal and against the law. That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> yes. Do we fix the vase? Hmm. I feel like she'll cut maybe her hand. Maybe I could try to fix it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. There we go. I did it. No one will notice that it was broken. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. She deserves so much better. She's actually such a little ray of sunshine. She deserves so much better than this. My daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. She said bang bang to her mommy and daddy. Then her parents died and she was so sad. Holy <laughs> sh**. She's very like, a little misfortune. She's very like, She's very childish and she has a like childlike wonder and she's very gleeful and happy. But she's also very mature, which happens obviously when you live a traumatic life that 
you have to you have to grow up real quick um against your own will nine times out of ten that darkness of trauma through the lens of a child which was like for some of us that is how we experience trauma as a kid it just went completely out of, over my radar kind of the same way it does for little misfortune looking back at it now it's like i don't even know how to describe it it just it just hits you in the face like all this that you didn't see as a kid that went on as a kid it smells like cigarettes in here yeah that's my mommy Aww. she also likes to drink juice a lot <laughs> well are you ready to complete your first mission yes i am i'm gonna get that prize <sighs> i don't like this narrator he, he's creepy as f i just love that it's like very cutesy and like sparkly and like she throws, she throws glitter and she makes everything cute but the content and the subject matter is just so dark it just it really just goes to show like how different things can look through different lenses dead rabbits again when will daddy learn i like them alive good thank you so much for that oh we need to shut that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh. Mommy, this smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Magic. Yikes forever. She didn't even bother to take them out of the pot. She just put the skulls in it and everything. Yay! Happiness to the soup! <laughs> <laughs> she put glitter in the soup? <laughs> When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. Tell mommy that we're leaving? Um, I don't even think she'll care. I'm going out to play, mommy! Yeah, she didn't even care. Good day, morning! <laughs> it's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Ah, uh, okay. Good afternoon, morning! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Remember Benjamin the Fox? This yes. is where I first saw him. Hmm. He was hiding in the trash and we made eye contact. It was really intense. <laughs> yes, you told me about that fox already. See you shouldn't trust the fox. They're all criminals. I don't trust Mr. Voice. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. I don't trust Mr. Voice for one goddamn second. This pool smells like a toilet <laughs> because I pee on it. <laughs> That is disgusting. No Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> you see, every one of her things, I seem to see juice popping up a lot, which doesn't give me a whole lot of confidence. Kitty, here, come, come, kitty, 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 kitty. <laughs> oh, kitty, don't go. No, 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 Miss Fortune. I never get to pet the sweet animals. God, okay, if she ran onto that road and got hit or something, I would have cried myself to sleep. So, before we continue, mm. you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. All right. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. <laughs> when you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I feel like eternal happiness is code Your next there. mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Whoa. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? That's no. my goal. Okay, I'm going. <gasps> I saw a monster. What monster? I didn't see anything. Gaslighter? I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just oh, get off the going. road. We'll have so much fun. Get off the road. All right. The road. <laughs> You're stressing me out. All right, we're good. We're safe. I've heard that this game has different endings, so I hope we get a good one. Look, a sleepy bird. Oh. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> so this is all I've seen up to. This is where I think the demo ended. Oh my god. I feel like this game can be a really, really good one. 
it's almost giving me like Sally face type vibes. Like at least this this sequence right at the moment is giving me Sally face. <laughs> saying go boss to get 100% he's not huh <laughs> she's really lucky I get the feeling she's one of those chronically lucky people 